Hello guys, welcome to today's lesson. My name is Srinidhi. I'm an educator on an academy. I teach English grammar on this platform. You guys can follow me on an academy by downloading the Unacademy Learning app on your phone and please do check out the YouTube channel as well. So in today's lesson, just like the previous lessons, we will be learning a few difficult words from the Hindi newspaper along with its meaning, its usage and also how to use that word in a sentence along with a jumbled word at the end of the lesson. So let's get started. Hey guys, so this is the fourth lesson under the course, Daily Hindu Analysis Part 4. So as you all can see, the date mentioned right here. So yes, we've done quite a few courses on the same uh, theme. But what is different from this course to the previous ones are that in the previous course, we saw a proverb at the end of the every, every lesson. And uh, you guys will give me the meaning sometimes. And the following lesson will contain its meaning and also how to use its specific proverb in a sentence. So in this course, we're going to learn, uh, you know, uh, I will give you guys a difficult word, obviously picked up from the Hindu newspaper, but it will be jumbled. The letters will be jumbled. So you'll have to arrive, you'll have to rearrange the letters and arrive at a word. But I'll give you guys two hints. One is I will tell you which part of speech it is and also a synonym of that word. Okay, so uh, that will be at the end of the lesson. So let's get started with today's set of words. The first one is interim, interim, interim is an adjective. So something that is intended to be used until something permanent is done or established. So this is something temporary. You use it for the time being until a permanent one is being, you know, established. So it's like uh, uh, an acting uh, thing in replacement of another, which is still not permanent. Okay, this is not permanent at all. This is temporary, but you use it till the uh, next permanent things. I'm sorry, next permanent thing, get into place, all right? So the synonyms are temporary and acting. So let's see an example. He was sworn in as head of an interim government in March. So interim government is, this government is not the permanent government. Till the permanent government is established, this government or the, this panel of officers will act as the, you know, uh, they will be in action, they will be, uh, uh, they'll be acting as a temporary government till the permanent one is put in place. So this person is sworn as the head. That means he's appointed as the head of this acting government. Okay. Next one is scathing. Scathing again is an adjective. That means if someone scathing something, they're being very critical about it. So these are the people who do not accept the facts. They're not adaptable. So be it anything, they're very critical or very skeptical about it. So they're very, uh, they don't, they're not able to trust anything that easily. Okay. So that kind of person is described as a scathing person. So synonyms are who are very critical, who are very harsh. All right. So example, the reports published by the journalist were scathing about various terror groups. That means the reports published, sorry, published by the journalist was being very critical or was being very harsh about the various terror groups around the world. Okay. So that's, that's necessary, I feel. So the third word is dubious, dubious, dubious is an adjective again that means something that does not I mean something that one does not consider to be completely honest safe or reliable so if you find something which is uh, if you find something that is not genuine or if you find it to be uh, you know you can't trust on it if it is not reliable or if it is not safe you call that thing as dubious you describe it to be dubious okay so synonyms very unsure suspicious Example, the witnesses alone are dubious basis to conclude a case. Evidences also play a crucial role in proving someone's in, uh, someone innocent or guilty. So the witnesses or the people who witnessed it personally alone are dubious basis. That means a very um, unsure basis or that's not enough. So something that's, that cannot be relied on all the time to conclude a case. Uh, but evidences are also play a crucial role that means they play a very important role in proving someone as innocent or guilty so witnesses are not just enough because if you decide a case or if you conclude a case only on the basis of witnesses that could be dubious that means that could be very uh, unsafe or uh, something that's not very honest or genuine okay next one is itch 
sorry hitch not itch so hitch is a verb that means if you hitch a left or hitch a right you hitch hike that means basically you ask for a ride you're taking a ride or you're taking a lift rather common word okay so if you hitch a left that means if you're taking a lift so you usually see people you know pointing their thumb towards the direction that they want to go so people stop if they really feel like giving you the lift i'm sorry about that so that is called hitching a left so we don't really use this word because most of us don't know what the word is. So the word is hitch. Uh, synonyms, thumb a lift. That means show your thumb towards the direction and people actually stop some time. Uh, example, since my car broke down on a highway, I hitched a lift into a nearby town. So car broke down on a highway, I hitched a lift. That means I took a lift. I hitchhiked to, I, to a hitchhiked to a nearby town. So hitch is a verb, so you can basically use it in, you know, in various tenses. Next word is entrant. Entrant is a noun. A person who is taking part in a competition is called an entrant. Please pay attention to the word competition because I've seen a lot of people using competition, T-A-T-I-O-N. So that's not really competition, it is competition with an I. So a person who is taking part in a, in a competition is called an entrant. So synonyms are player, candidate, competitors, etc. So example, the pictures drawn for the competition must be an entrance must be an entrance own work so the pictures that is you know that is drawn or the pictures those are drawn by the competitors or the entrance must be their own work they shouldn't replicate somebody else's work in this competition is what this means okay so the next word is medal medal is a verb so if someone meddles in something you criticize the fact that they try to influence or change it without being asked so so meddling is when someone meddles with somebody else's life or with somebody else's decisions that means they're influencing that decision or they're changing it even when the person who is concerned in this in that specific activity does not ask for it for example if someone meddles with my decision that means i don't have much of a say in it because they're influencing on my decision a lot even though i did not request them to do it so the synonyms are interfere intrude okay so someone interfering or someone intruding into someone's business is called meddling with something so example the foreign leader was warned as to not to meddle with another country's affairs so here the foreign minister or the i'm sorry the foreign leader was warned that he should stop meddling or he should stop interfering into other countries matters so there are quite a few people who would love to interfere in everybody's issues so those kind of people you can actually ask them to stop meddling with your lives so the next word is abrupt abrupt is an adjective so that means a change or an action that is very sudden often in an unpleasant way so something that changes very fast but uh, it does not even give you a second to think about it it changes really fast and sometimes it proves to be or uh, it results to be very unpleasant so uh, synonyms are unexpected so when something happens suddenly it is obviously unexpected and rapid rapid means fast okay so example the abrupt departure of my neighbor raised suspicion that means my neighbor left without telling anybody so he left immediately or he left suddenly he just disappeared all of a sudden so that uh, created a lot of suspicion around the people in the society so departure is used with trains as well in people so for example the train departs at nine o'clock that means the train is leaving the station at nine o'clock so usually with trains we use departure and arrival even with flights so we never say the train the train is leaving at seven no that's wrong you must say the train departs at nine or the train arrives at nine okay you must use the verb depart and arrive to describe the leaving and coming in of the train into the station so before we start with the jumbled words let's see the pronunciation of the words once again the first one is interim interim second one is scathing scathing third one is dubious 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 hitch it's like itch with a hitch sound in front hitch and entrant and Trent. Next one is middle, middle. So abrupt. You'll have to pronounce the B and P as well. None are silent. Abrupt, abrupt. 
okay so here's the jumbled letters that i uh, you know that i suggested in the previous lesson so th this is e r o s u p i l so i give you the hint telling it's an adjective and it's dangerous so this is the extra synonym that i've uh, added to explain so if you rearrange the letters you will arrive at the proper word that is perilous so perilous means something that is very dangerous so the synonym was a very very strong hint to arrive at the meaning so perilous journey that means a very very dangerous journey so example the road near the hilly regions are steeper and perilous that means uh, we all know the hilly regions the roads are not straighter they're all curvy so they're very steeper and i mean they're steeper and perilous it means a very dangerous one got one must be extra vigilant while driving or riding there because that's a very you know uh, dangerous and an accident prone area so moving ahead so the word that i would be suggesting for this lesson is e n l e f i g t so it's a very easy word and a very common word so the hints are it's an adjective again and the synonym is passing so this is a very easy word if you guys have read through the sonnets of shakespeare so uh, let me know if you guys found the word in the comment section i'll see you guys in the next lesson until then bye bye